Hey guys, it's Vito Vengeance, and today we're looking at the game played by me in the Jack Panzer E100 German Tier 10 Tank Destroyer, the bigger brother of the Waffenteger E100. Little bug there, reticle bug. Seems like my reticle disappeared. And in fact, it was I left it behind, and. I have a review of, the, of this tank on my channel and it is a very well armored tank and it has a very very punchy gun I mean 1050 average damage per shot now that the other tank destroyers were nerfed to from 850 to 750 without considering the FV-215B the Death Star that is OP this thing has the strongest gun in the game and right here I wanted to shoot from the brick through that brick wall into the lower plate of the 100 however I hit the track and basically this thing has as I said before has very strong frontal armor you are usually penetrated by things that are not tier 10 tanks only in the lower plate and Yep, so this basically it, only the lower plate, and sometimes there are people shooting in this machine gun port here. But most of the time, if you just angle like this, the side armor the, of the hull is very very strong, like on the N100. And also, this lower plate at this angle probably can be penetrated by tier 10 heavy tanks and medium tanks. Most of the time. It can, but usually it doesn't. So I catch this I7 of guard and I put a 978 shot to him. That was a pretty big shot. In fact, it was below average, almost 100 damage, but still, at this kind of damage, it usually usually take half of the half of the I7. And also something very important: you will mm, seven out of ten times another big shot to the i7, you will destroy Waffen Trigger E100 from 2 shots only, which is very important, so when you meet one of those things, especially if you side scrape, I, it happened when I was in my Waffen Trigger, that tank doesn't feel so OP, when you are facing a Jack Panzer 100 he shoots at you once, takes more than half of your health, and then he side scrapes and you cannot do absolutely nothing, even with APCR. This Carnarvon desperately tries to track me, but the tracks on this thing, thing are pretty tough. They are actually very tough, you can see by the thickness. Those tracks <laughs> are probably as big as the one coming on. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Anyway, they are very strong and from lower caliber guns they need more than one shot in order to be destroyed. This is also th something also very important, for example when you're, there is a T62A and, and he wants to track you, usually he won't be able to track you from one shot, because the tracks are so big. And suddenly we are not losing so hard, however a very dangerous thing there, the T54, he's in a very good position, however if I can land one shot into him, I'm going to ruin that guy's game. And here he is. And lucky shot 1022 damage. And that puts an end probably to the to his killing streak. He actually got one kill but it looked like he had a good position. And we're winning 9-8. Not so bad actually from losing. I think it was 4-6. Love spots me, he puts much effort to him, tries to move away, but a little bit too late. Usually when you know there is going to be a Jack Panzer 100 coming around the corner, you back away in time because the gun that has penetration 299mm and you are in a tier 8 tank only if you are in a T32 and you are in a hold down position you have chances of surviving and it actually want, most of the time you're going to bounce just from the frontal turret of the T32 unless the Jack Panzer hits your cupola then you're dead 
I remember when I first got this thing it had a very not only on this thing gold diminution all around there was a promotion for it and basically right here I'm not uh, even going to shoot this guy I'm just going to uh, walk through and so he died and basically the standard ammunition costed 200 credits less than the high explosive anti tank and what I did as I just filled this tank with high explosive anti tank and that's an ammo rack yay I basically filled this thing with high explosive anti tank and I could penetrate absolutely everything the frontal armor of, t of a T95 was absolutely no problem as you can see this thing still has over 400 millimeters of penetration and there goes the last enemy tank so it was a pretty good game not much about kills done but more about damage and with the apparition of the Waffen Dragger in 100 a lot of people forget about this thing and in a lot of situations this tank is actually better than the Waffen Dragger so it is indeed a choice when we think about the two of the tanks but it is also about the line and I enjoyed both TD lines a lot I'll, I also have a comparison video between, between those two tanks but this video was only about the uh, Jack Panzer and it's very very powerful 170mm pack gun so let's see some post game so stats so here are the post game stats unfortunately I only took one screenshot of them but it shows what's important I did a total of 6504 damage and I got the most experience in my team the medal I got was of course the high caliber medal and yeah our team was no match for the enemy team I think me and the C50M alone did more damage than this entire team combined maybe not so but you get the idea so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please think about rating it if you want me to check out new games tell me in the comments because I'm really in the search for new awesome games and have an absolutely awesome day yourself